So the next problem which is given to you is say one in order traversal is given. D, B, A, E, G, C and F. And the next traversal will be given as post order. D, B, G, E, F, C and A. And what we have to find out? Pre-order traversal we have to find out. So this is the question. Now here what is the rule for pre-order traversal? Pre means root will be prior to left and right subtree. This thing we have to find out. But you have to remember one point. Whenever a post order traversal is given to you, post, what was the formula? Who is post to left and right subtree? So from here, we will understand one trick. So root will be at the extreme right. So therefore, this traversal will be read in right to left order. So what is the biggest difference between the previous problem and this problem? The previous problem, the pre-order was given and the scanning mechanism was from left to right. But here post-order traversal is given. So remember this point when post-order traversal is given, root is at the extreme right side. So you have to read this from right to left. So this is the point. So when a problem is given, our next part is to identify the tree. So which one is the root of the tree? Since it is a post order, this is the formula of the post order. So A is the root of the tree. Fine, root is identified. So why we are using in order? Because from in order, we will find the relative position of the left and right subtree with respect to the root. So now we have to find out the location for C. So according to the in order traversal, the location of the C is at the right side of the root. So C will be here. So the next is F. So we have to find out the location of the F. So according to the in order, the location of the F is right side of the root, fine, and right side of the C also. So this is the location of F. So next part is E. So the relative position of E according to in order traversal is right side of root but left side of C. So this is the only location, right? So now what is the position of G? So G means according to in order right side of the root, left side of the C. However, it is also left side of F. So, what is the location of G? Left of C, no clue. Left of F, no clue. But, it is in the right side of E. So, can I put it here? Yes. So, this is how we are gathering the clues of the relative position of the nodes using in order traversal. That's why always we need in-order traversal along with either post-order or pre-order. Without in-order traversal, it is not possible to find out the actual construction of the tree. So now, what is the location of B? According to the relative position, B is at the left side of the root and D is also at the left side of the root and left side of the B also. So this is the tree. So once the tree is done, now we will create one bucket. So what is our question? We have to find out pre-order. Pre-order means bucket for root left and right. So this is one bucket. This is another bucket and this is another bucket. So what is the root? A. And what is the left part? Write it haphazardly. DB no problem and what are the nodes in the right part write it haphazardly no problem. Now we will divide this section so root is A so this L will be divided into again the formula is root left and right 
So what is the root of the left subtree? What is the left subtree and what is the right subtree? We have to find out. So root of the left subtree is B. Left side we will have D and the right side we have nothing. So come to this portion. We will divide this right again using root, left and right formula. So here, what is the root of the right subtree? See, what is the left part of the left subtree? ENG, I will write it haphazardly. And what is the right part of the right subtree? F. So according to our discussion, our final bucket will look like this. So we will have root, this portion. In this portion, we will have B, D and X. So I'm just writing B and D. And then in this portion, we will have root as C. But in the left portion, we have a confusion E and G. And then we have F. So this is the bucket up to this. So again, we will divide this into three part root left and right so among e and g which one is the root e and in left we have nothing and right we have g so what is the traversal finally we will read it as a b d c then e then g and then f so this is the answer. So this is the pre-order traversal of the given problem.